Hey guys, so I think I'm going to do something different today. I've never, I don't have any videos doing TV shows or my opinion about TV shows or anything like that. So this is a first. Um, but, and I think what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take down my hair also so I can do two videos in one. Um, but yeah, whatever. So, Scandal tonight, season premiere and it was awesome it was awesome so excited that it came on and um yeah we're so excited that it came on i love 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 the show that's one of my shows that i watch um and i'm excited that i you know got put on scandal and i think i watched it from the first season so i've been following it since it's been out and um so i haven't missed a beat and i'm excited um i think i did my hair backwards really you have got to be kidding god dang it whatever and um so yeah i'm really excited now tonight's show was uh something else something else really it really made me want to go through the TV and punch Olivia in the face like it really made me angry you know and the ending really made me want to punch the fits in his throat and in the middle it made me really want to I believe it's David no no not David Cyrus <sighs> maybe just want to beat him down now some people may say I'm wrong you know whatever I don't know I've never understood being um, knowingly being the side piece. I never understood getting in a relationship knowing that this man was taken and married and you being people being okay with that. Um, I never understood it, never got it. It never really made sense to me. Um, but of course to each its own. Now, with that being said, to be in such a powerful position as Olivia was and to be the president's mistress, you know, starting off. I mean, I don't believe personally in love at first sight. You know, I've known people that believe it and said it or whatever. And I think they're just bullshitting just to get with them, whatever, whatever. But with that being said, to purposely know that this man or a man is married and to say hey who cares that he's married and he took her over before god um i'm going to be with him anyways i'm going to screw him anyways and no i don't care about his family and his children and the commitment that he made um no i don't have enough respect for myself to care um about myself and period I, I don't get it, you know, but I, once again, I, <clears throat> I love uh, the show, like, that is my show, but, you know, throughout, it just, Olivia really just makes me want to punch her in the face, like, she really, really does, now, guys, pause, with my hair, I re, I took it out, and then I re, um, and knotted it, now, I think, with how it's looking, I, I did the opposite of re-knotting it and re-twisting it. So right now it's looking fugly, fucking ugly. I'm not excited by it and I'm not liking it. Um, but whatever it is, what it is. And for some reason my hair still feels damp in the middle, which is crazy because I've had my hair like this for a few days. And I washed my hair on Sunday. I think it was when I washed my hair. Because as y'all know, I went straight. Loved it. And um, 
you know, once straightness is gone, that's it. I'm not going to straighten it every week or every other week or anything like that on a regular basis. Um, I might straighten it again a couple of months of my birthday. I might. Um, but then again, I might not. I don't know. But yeah. Sorry about that interruption. Play. Now, back to the show. I thought it was her daddy that exposed her and Fitz. That's who I thought it was, you know, with, with the end of the season. And it was like, this bastard then exposed his daughter and he just doesn't care. But now to know that it wasn't him and that he didn't do it makes me feel better. Now, do I still think her daddy has issues and he's evil? Yes. Yes, I still do believe that. Um... But it is good to know that she, regardless of his evil ways, she do have backup. She has someone that's there. Um, It was a shocker, though, to find out that that was her daddy. Oh, my gosh. And the fact that nobody knows that that is her daddy is classic. Oh, my gosh. But, um, yeah. pause again this is the failed band two nights so i will be doing this again but as you see my hair has its curls back <laughs> so excited so excited play now columbus short it's my guy i love him in this part i love his loyalty like it is unbelievable unbelievable I love it for him to have her back the way he does regardless of what happens asking no questions I love that because you don't find loyalty like that you really just don't you know and in some sense I'm sorry guys in some sense that's stupid um yeah but to each his own it's good it's awesome to see that there is people that are loyal I guess that is possible but of course it's TV you know, whatever. Now, with Millie, when I first saw Millie, I did not care for her. I didn't like her at all. I was just like, Millie, 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 you're just so evil and just terrible. How do you treat your husband like that? And why do you have such an attitude all the time? You know, I and I apologize, Millie. I didn't know you married a jackass of a husband that was just a whole. Um, but now I know. Now I know. So I get it. And thumbs up to you. Thumbs up to you. Um, I don't. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I have that that strength that you have. I don't. I don't think that I have it. Um, I'd have been punched him in his face, like point blank, hands down. I'd have been punched him in his face. Probably would have been divorced him. I probably would have been like, look, this is what he is doing. Point blank, listed, and you're on your own. You're on your own. And I guess that's a rational thinker. No, that's an irrational thinker. Um, and she's very, very rational in her thinking. She plans out what she does. And I love that about her. I love that about her. When she shut that plan down and found out that it was her husband and nipped that in the bud, yeah. Yeah, baby, that's what you do. That's what you do. Because you would not. You would not make me look like a fool. Not at all. Not like that. Not like that. And if you do, best believe that you will be the one looking bad. You're going to look worse at the end of the day. You will. You will. And I'm pissed that Olivia thought it was a good idea for her to expose herself. You want to listen to him? Really? And what were you gaining? Nothing. What was he gaining? Everything. Everything. Why? Because at the end of the day, 
His wife has forgiven him, and he's only done it twice. So I think us as America will be able to forgive him as long as he doesn't do it again. Because we know, even though he is president, that he is human, and he does make mistakes. But because he has seen the error of his ways, and because he has been man enough to talk you know come out publicly about his affair and he was you know man enough to apologize publicly then i think we can go ahead and let it go and everything will be okay with him if his wife can deal with it and look at him and still love him then we as america and americans and as one we can do it too we can do it too so it's going to be okay do you think after that that they were going to accept you as being the mistress later on him getting with? Uh, no, boo-boo. You would have gone down, period, period, period. And then as, as his wife is, she would have made sure that you were exposed fully. And no one would have accepted you, period. You probably have to would have gone to another country or something. Your career went down the drain. You did all that work for nothing, just for a penis. I get it. I I I get it. It was just that great, I guess. Out of the billions of people, you know, I guess no one's as powerful as the president ever. So when you see your door in, get it in. You know, people people done it for years. You know, so I guess you could have did it too. But I bet you if you look at the people and the mistresses before, back in the day, later on, whatever, they weren't in a position that you were in. And they didn't. If they were, they didn't keep the position that they were in. They were dragged through the mud, spit upon. Damn, Olivia made me want to punch you in the face. Oh, my gosh. But the ending was epic. Oh, my gosh. And I want to know what was in the folder. What was in it? What was in the folder? What did Cyrus read? What did Cyrus read? At the end of the day, I feel like um, that Fitz, well, Fitz is evil. Fitz is the evil bastard. He really is. And his wife really love her, but she ain't far from it. You know, she really isn't far from it. So... Yeah, but I really still would like to know what was in that folder. And I'm pretty sure she, being his wife, knows what it is. I'm pretty sure she does. She knows what it is. Um, but I really would like to know what he did when he was over there. I know it's been some stuff. Like, this season is going to probably be one of the best seasons of it. It probably is going to be one of the best seasons. Awesome. So... I'm probably going to do another video showing the rest of this or whatever. Um, but I had to do my scandal rant. Love the show. Um, and if you're not watching it, I think you need to start. You actually need to go back to the first and second season and find it and redo it or whatever and watch it. That's what you need to do. And then start the third season. Or you can start third season but still go back and catch up. Like you really missing out on a great freaking show like you're really missing out on a great show great show point blank period i don't why i say that i hate that comment but no seriously real talk you miss not on a great show if you're not watching it you need to if you're watching it you know what it is you know what it is it's awesome but yes i want to go now um so excited so 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 excited but yeah until next time, um, I don't know if I'm going to do this on a regular basis. It just depends on how I feel. I just felt like with this first show that I just had to do it because it was just that awesome. <sighs> don't know if I'm going to do it again. I don't know. We'll see. But until next time, talk to you people. Uh, talk to you beautiful people. Later. Bye.